Number seven, dolphins make sounds in air and water. What is the ratio of the wavelength of a sound in air to its wavelength in seawater? Assume that air temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Well, we also have to assume another temperature then for the water as well. And we'll assume then that the water temperature is also 20 degrees Celsius. If we make that assumption, we can look up the velocity of water in uh, the velocity in seawater, okay, at 20 degrees Celsius is approximately this, uh, 1,540 meters per second. That's looked up in the table in your text. All right. So we have to find a ratio, right? What is the ratio, okay, of the wavelength of a sound in air to its wavelength? So first thing is I have to find this ratio. Let's start with the ratio they want us to find. So the wavelength, right, of sound in air, right, divided then by what? The wavelength of sound in water or H2O okay and so now how can we uh, expand on this well we don't know either of these um, yep see you later mailman bye bye <laughs> sorry guys if you hear my uh, if you hear the uh, crazy dog in the background love him to death but um he's trying to make his way through the door actually he hasn't learned that he can't actually get physically through the door uh, but he's trying desperately uh, anyway okay so uh, how can I expand on these wavelengths now? Well, I know, you know, they're, they're telling me, uh, you know, they want us to find the r ratios between them. I, I know that I know uh, the, vol the velocity right, of uh, the sound wave in water. I also know, right, the velocity of, the, uh, of sound in air at 20 degrees Celsius. This is memorized. This is going to be 343, 343 meters per second. If you don't trust me on that one, you can use the formula over here. The velocity three is 331 times square root uh, temperature over 273. Check it out. All right. Um, so now what I realize is, well, I know the velocity. So, uh, you know, in order for me to find the ratio of the wavelengths, I somehow have to relate wavelength to velocity. So how is wavelength related to velocity? Oh, right. It's related via this equation that the velocity of the wave is going to be equal to the frequency of the wave multiplied by the wavelength. Now, if I solve this thing for wavelength, meaning that I just divide out the frequency, so it's going to be velocity over the frequency, okay, I realize now that I can plug in this relationship here, the velocity divided by the frequency, in for both of the wavelengths. All right, now they're going to be different, right? The wavelength in air is different from that uh, in water. So what I have to do is make sure I'm consistent with my subscripts here. So let's say now that this is going to equal then the velocity in air divided by the frequency in air divided then by overall, right? This fraction represents the wavelength in air. And then now the fraction that's going to represent the, the wavelength in water is going to be the velocity in the water of the sound wave in water divided by the frequency of the sound wave in water. Now you might say, well, wait a minute, we don't know a frequency. So what are we going to do? Well, here's the thing. The frequencies are the same. Interesting, right? The frequency does not change. The frequency of sound does not change in the medium. It doesn't matter what medium. The frequency will be the same. What changes is the wavelength and the velocity then, okay? So if you look at this formula for a particular sound wave, F will basically be constant. So then if the wavelength changes, the velocity will change. Or excuse me, I should say if the velocity changes because why? Well, it's either the medium's different or the temperature's different. We're going to get then get a change in wavelength, okay? So just keep that in mind, that the frequency should be constant there, or in in, uh, in this case, right? So we can cancel them, and what that means now is that the wavelength in air divided by the wavelength in water will equal, then, the velocity in air divided by the velocity in water. And look, lo and behold, we have everything we need, right? So velocity in the air is about 343, and then divided by now the velocity in water, so this is 1540, Simply now find that ratio, so 343 divided by 1540. And it works out to a fraction of about 0 0.223 or so. I guess three sig figs should be good. All right, so that's the fraction. So it says, what's the ratio? Well, this is the ratio, 0 0.223 to 1, okay? So basically, we're going to reduce, you know, the wavelength in air is about a quarter of that of the wavelength in water. Okay, that takes care of that, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Help us out and subscribe. Tell your friends and hit that like button. We appreciate it. Take care now.